Hey guys, <laughs> this is so weird for me. Today I am filming on my iPad. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or not, but you do know that I've been having computer problems. Well, something happened on Tuesday. We had high winds and our electricity went out and there was like three power surges. So in that process, our hard drive, our hard drive got fried and I think the main thing I was worried about is the pictures and the videos that we had of the kids, uh, if we'd be able to recover that or not. Well, it turns out we have to get a new hard drive and I'm not particularly sure if we can recover all that stuff. But anyway, so that's why I did not upload my makeup sale on Thursday. I already filmed it and it's privated to go up, but what I needed my computer for is basically to invoice you guys and I just did not feel right about taking your money and then waiting a couple days to invoice you I just I couldn't do that and I'm not that organized frankly to do all that so that's why I need to do it as I go like as the invoices come in and your requests come in I wanted to invoice you right away so that being said I am hoping that it'll be up on Monday I hate to actually give a day because I'm just so afraid that it's not gonna happen but we get our computer back today and hopefully all as well so if this is a little weird for me but I am filming on um, my I'm just really not sure how the lighting looks if the color looks any better so you're gonna have to let me know this is like the brand new iPad I think this is like the iPad Air like Mac daddy so this should be better than my camera. I'm not even really sure about how all that works, but my husband said that this is better than my camera. I don't know. Anyway, moving on, today's video is gonna be all about NARS and their new matte multiples that just came out. I was so excited because I'm not a huge multiple person. Um, is this filming? Oh yeah, it is, okay, good. Um, I'm not a huge multiple person because they just, it doesn't have a lot of pigment, but these are pretty pigmented. So I'm excited to review them and show them to you. Um, okay, so this might be kind of weird because I don't know, I just, this is just so weird for me. All right, so uh, I purchased three of them. I purchased, so let's just review the size, shall we? This, so the new matte multiples come like this, and the net weight is 0.206 which is a little bit less than the original multiple. The original multiples are 0 0.05. So you get less, and I think it's the same exact darn price. I mean, NARS, come on, why do companies do that? I just really, that really bothers me when companies come out with like newer products like MAC and their pigments. They totally dip us on the size and it's still the same price. Anyway. So let's just review this one. This one is called Laos. And I want to show you the size difference. Okay. So this is the original multiples. And then these are the matte ones that are, so they look a little, they're not as fat basically. And they just, that's when I got these, I just knew as soon as I got them that the sizes were different and I'm like, oh, I just had a feeling that they would, you know, give us less product. Okay, so Laos, this is a beautiful uh, rosy coral color. This is so weird. Do you guys see that? And I will say that these are really pigmented. I know like the first, like the original multiples, they're not that pigmented, but look at that. They're beautifully pigmented, so creamy. So this, that is the color of Laos. It's a beautiful rosy coral color. These remind me so much of the cream blushes, the, the NARS cream blushes that they discontinued. Uh, they only have a couple of colors in the new multiples, so I don't know if they are putting these in the place of the blushes, but I love the texture. It's a very smooth, almost cream to powder texture that glides and blends so easily. So that is what it looks like blended out. Do you see how easily that just blends out and it's just really easy to work with and almost leaves like a really pretty sheen. So that is the first color. It's called Anguilla. And oh, this one was my favorite because it reminds me so much of Penny Lane. And 
bat is in Gwilla. Just a beautiful, beautiful soft peach color, but it's pigmented. It's not something where you're gonna have to wear a blush on top of it. It's super pigmented. Isn't that beautiful? Especially if you have a fair skin, this is gonna be really nice on you. Hold on, sorry. So right there is Anguilla. It's definitely not as bright and pigmented as the Laos, but this is gonna be a perfect cream blush or one that you could wear something on top of it where it's gonna maybe accentuate that powder color or anything like that, so gorgeous. Okay, so there is the Anguilla color, obviously my favorite. I wanted to get the one that was a really bright poppy red color, but that reminded me so much of, oh my gosh, the NARS cream blush that I already have. I can't remember the name of it. I don't know, but anyway, it reminded me of that. Okay, so the very last one is called, um, oh gosh, Altia. Oh, this is what it's called, I don't know. That's the name of it right there, and I will say, Obviously, all NARS products are named after countries or cities, and it gets me every time. I have a NARS haul coming up, and I am dreading it because every single thing I can't pronounce except for one. I can only pronounce one blush, and the rest of it I can't. So that'll be really entertaining if you guys want to tune in. Okay, so this one is described as a rosy bronze. I don't see any rosiness about this. This is just going to be a beautiful matte bronze color. Just a really pretty cream bronze color, very similar, I want to say, to the Chanel, um, the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I'll get that out and show you. This actually might have a little bit of rosiness to it, to it right there. A beautiful color, especially if you like cream bronzers. I think that you guys would like this. It's beautiful. It's just a really pretty and let, let's rub it out here and see what it looks like so there's some rosiness to that gorgeous right there really pretty okay so I picked up Penny Lane because I wanted to show you how that compared to the top one so that is the Anguilla and then that is Penny Lane so it's very different this one's a lot more pink this is more beige. You guys just need to get Penny Lane. Just get it. Um, okay, so this is the Solante. I can never, never pronounce that. Solante. Oh my gosh. Soleil Tan de Chanel. Um, let's see how this compares to. Oh, totally different. I'm so happy. Okay, so this is the rosy brown color, the one that I couldn't pronounce. And then that is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. So you can see that uh, this is a little bit lighter, not as orange and more rosy. Very, not as similar is what I'm trying to say. It's just not similar, but it's definitely um, one that you could use as a blush or a bronzer if you were wanting. So these are an A plus in my opinion. They're really creamy. They apply like a dream. You can use your fingers is how I use it, or you could use a nice, you know, maybe small brush to apply. Um, so I'm really excited about these because since they are so easy to apply and they are really pigmented. So that is such a huge plus that you don't have to waste product trying to get pigmentation out of it. It's just so easy and effortless and I'm really excited. So let me know your thoughts on the new matte multiples, you guys. I hope you'd enjoy this video. Let me know what you think about um, this. Is this better than my camera? I have no idea. So let's Let's, hopefully it is. I have no idea. And I'm mumbling because this is just really awkward. Really awkward. Because I, I keep on wanting to look at the screen and I have to look at this small dot. So it's just really weird. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Anyways, guys, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. And um, yeah, I'll see you really soon. Bye.